nature has given us several ways of fighting cancer and one of them is to make a cell simply stop dividing forever. So that's a process we call cell senescence and we know it's important for fighting cancer. What we found recently is that that process of turning off cell proliferation or cell division is much more complex and cells as they become senescent begin to express proteins that can really radically alter the tissue environment in which those cells exist. What we found is that uh, those molecules that senescent cells secrete have the surprising effect of encouraging cancer growth late in life. So we know these cells accumulate with age, and as they accumulate, now they create a tissue environment that ironically starts to encourage the growth of cancer. Another thing we found is that common ways of fighting cancer, DNA damaging chemotherapy, can make cells senescent in human beings, and those senescent cells also begin to create this tissue environment that we feel could strongly predispose a patient to later life cancers. So this is a little bit discouraging, but we're very encouraged because now having defined these pathways and these, these molecules that are important, um, we're now in a position to begin to look for ways to making the good part of cell senescence, fighting cancer, more effective, and the bad part, changing our tissues that promote aging and cancer, less effective.